to kill these animals just for the sake of their enlarged teeth is, is a crime. It, it's, and the thought that the world would never see a living elephant again is just too appalling. I'm David Attenborough and I'm delighted to be here with Lad Bible. When they know about the, the hanging on by a thread, they're remarkably skilled at bringing them back from the verge of extinction. The humanity itself was within danger 40, 50 years ago of exterminating whales because they were hunting them without any restrictions at all. And it was the first time that I know of when all the nations around the world got together and said, OK, we will stop hunting whales. And they did. And whales are, are safe from extinction, provided we keep the principles that we are doing. Now that they're abundant, people are saying, oh, well, let's, let's start killing them again. Let's not. To kill these animals just for the sake of their enlarged teeth is, is a crime. It, it's, and the thought that the world would never see a living elephant again is just too appalling. So whatever can be done to stop it, uh, it should be done. One animal which I, I do not wish to meet in the wild, and I haven't met in the wild, though I've seen it elsewhere, and that's the king cobra. King cobra can grow to twice the height of a man, go to about 12 feet, four, four meters long. Uh, it rears up, uh, and, and it rears up to the height of a man, so it can look you straight in the eyes. It also makes a growling noise. <laughs> And, and it's very aggressive. And one bite, certain death. Yeah, I'm scared of king cobras. Uh, there's a remarkable scientist called Jane Goodall, who has devoted her life to chimpanzees. She made major scientific discoveries of chimpanzees. She discovered them using tools, she did all sorts of things. And she was a first scientist at, and she was a young English girl at the time, no experience of Africa. She lived out there, lived alongside them, and got them to accept her. That was remarkable in itself. Since then, she's devoted her life to wildlife conservation. I think she probably lives on airplanes. I've, only, I've met her many times, but I do meet her every now and again on an airplane, and I feel like saying, Jane, don't you get off anywhere? <laughs> But she is an extraordinary woman who has dedicated her life to conserving wildlife on this planet and she's wholly admirable.